Hey, welcome back. I'm Sean Barr and at Looking Point, we help IT organizations make decisions around collaboration, security, and networking. Today, we are getting a little sassy and talking about the Secure Access Service Edge. Let's go! All right, we're back and we are talking SASE, the Secure Access Service Edge. So before I talk about the components, let's talk a little bit about what it is. So what it does is it moves these secure access services to the edge. Well, it sounds pretty obvious, right? It's, it's what's the edge? Um, you have now remote users working out of their homes. Maybe they're not near an office location. And what it does is it moves those services closer to the end user so that you can provide security, but also offer a really, really good user experience. So now let's talk a little bit about what are those services? What, what do we need to move to the edge? Well, let's take a traditional VPN as an example. VPN for a remote user, they're gonna to connect to the network through VPN. And traditionally that VPN appliance or the termination point would live in a data center centralized to that organization. So maybe that data center is in California, but the user's in maybe Texas or New York. To basically connect that user all the way to California, there's a significant amount of latency that introduces. So it would be much more effective to offer those firewalling services in New York if that user's in New York, or in Texas if that user's in Texas. Well, traditionally in our networks, we didn't have a function or a way to deliver that service out at the edge wherever those users are. Well, that's the point behind this service is that you've got all these manufacturers now offering firewalling or VPNing, VPNing, VPN in the cloud, and now we can give that to the users at the edge. And so what that means is, if I'm in New York and I want a VPN into our organization, I can connect to the VPN. It's automatically going to terminate my connection in New York or very close to where I'm at in the most local pop. And it's going to allow me to get all the services, corporate services that I would get instead of going all the way to California, I get them locally and my experience would be that much better. In addition to that, if we're not talking about VPN, there's some security features that I mentioned before about firewall security or firewall in the cloud. With these users being connected, you know, maybe at a Starbucks or just in a random hotel location, they're just connecting to the internet and doing their work. And there's no way for the corporation to provide their corporate security policies to those users. And so what we're doing with SASE is we're moving the firewall out to the edge as well and being able to inject firewall services so we can mitigate threats and all of that type of thing as close to the user as possible without injecting latency and making it a poor user experience and make sure that the user experience is good while also providing a certain level of protection. There's a number of services and ways to do this, whether it's firewall security in the cloud, whether it's VPN services in the cloud, whether it's DNS services in the cloud, all of these technologies are delivered now at the edge to ensure your security policy is maintained, but also still give the users that wonderful end user experience. So there's a lot more we could talk about in regard to SASE, but that's just a high level understanding. So you can go, what is it? Do I need it? And if there's something you would like to talk to us about, you want to talk more SASE, give us a call. We'd love to help you out with it. If I said anything in this video that you're like, hey, I'd love to know more about that. Make sure you leave a comment, make sure you like and subscribe so you get all of our content as we release it. And we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.